<laughs> oh god, I'm cleaning my, uh, fucking... Changing the furniture around. Had to build some Ikea furniture yesterday, so there's a new shelf, and... I am putting stuff in the new shelf! I... Um, all our stuff is everywhere on the floor, and I have to get all of this done tonight, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty frazzled, gotta say. Very, 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 very frazzled. Mm. All I want to do is honestly play video games, but can't, can't play video games. <laughs> no! Okay, so let me, I'm going to put you guys somewhere here while I start through. My desk area. <laughs> um, I don't have anywhere where people can chat with me today. I might hum and sing a little bit while I clean. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe we can do it in the Discord. But I can't like see it. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to go do some. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that. Hmm. I need to go get something at the door. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. Um, there's so much stuff. Uh, do you guys ever let your stuff pile up and, like, have to go through everything because of, like, the little papers and whatnot? Kind of oh, so much stuff, so much stuff. Mm. I'm also trying to make a list or think about what exactly I need to cook uh, this week. I'm finding old candies and stuff everywhere. <laughs> old candies. Uh, uh, maybe, let's see, before I really get into it, let me go and check to see if I can have a way to see what you guys are saying, um, on my computer, hold on, let's see here, Tina. maybe we can make a thread, <laughs> maybe, oh wait, you know where we could, uh, you know where we could uh, talk? Um, you, you know the uh, freaking schedule? The schedule post? Oh no, not this. The schedule post? Wish I need to update. Oh, uh, we could talk there. <laughs> there's a, there's a, yeah, Twitter chat space on my schedule waiting room, which I'll change live. Hold on, I need to, I need to do that. Yeah, hold on. Here, um, that way people who are not, who don't have a discord which is a lot of people can also chat and it's easier it's easier there um let me see oh, let me update the schedule professional streamer monogawa shina forgets to do how to be a streamer wait like the beginning of february oh oh my gosh Uh, let's see. 
ปราบปั๊มปั๊มปั๊มเออชี้เหรอโอ้ my god the neighbors are I have a new neighbors on the other side of my duplex and they're quite young so I I think the gamers because sometimes I hear them yelling through the walls <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I uh yeah hold on let's see um okay let me let me pull up the schedule that's safe I hope that's safe oh no 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 Um, the dad say, oh, this one, nice. All right, it did. All right, chat load. Oh, no, what if they're streamers too? That's like the fear. Like, what if they're streamers too? Yeah, but I gotta admit, I haven't cleaned my office desk area in a while, or like gone through the all the little stuff, and it keeps piling up. So. I still honestly haven't properly unpacked from the trip with Dizzy and Ember, so it's been kind of chaotic to say the least. Um, so a little bit of a bummer. It is. It is what it is. Um, <sighs> breathing just gets busy. I don't know if you guys noticed. Um, but. I have been trying to do more variety type content because I feel like I really enjoy doing that. I think probably the most out of all the content, like presentations and showing you guys like things that I like to do on the norm. Um, I really want to get back into gaming, but honestly, I don't feel like I have a very solid. Performance when I um when I play games like I'm not really proud of those streams so I'm trying to make content that I'm happy with that I like watch rewatching and so that's why there's not as much games right now eventually we'll play more uh, but right now I'm just doing what I like to do showing off my skills <laughs> and stuff you know mm. variety is Good. Yeah, variety is good. I like the variety content. Yeah, it's a b i c e space because I don't get to stream as long these days. There's just too much to do. There's too much to do, chat. I don't like. You don't like having a lot of stuff to do. Actually, that's a lie. That's a lie. I do, but I also like to complain about it. So I don't know. Just it's just who I am, I guess. I don't feel good in my heart without a little bit of complaining. You no, know, it's just the way that it goes. Woman moment. Mm. Woman moment. Ah, oh, thank you, Rem, for the gifted member. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm trying to organize another collab for next week before I go as well. Uh, for five days. I make it sound like I'll be gone for a long time, but that's really not the case. I won't be gone for very long. Uh, it's only like less than a week. But <sighs> in all honesty, guys, I wish I didn't have to go. My grandpa can't read signs. Sorry, I found a Ricola on the ground. In 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 the wrapping, I wouldn't eat a raw Ricola on the ground. I just put it in my mouth. But <laughs> so if it sounds like I'm eating something, I'm uh, it's just a cough drop. Um. But I, I'll miss you. I'll miss you. I'll miss you a lot. Um, it's a bummer. So many trips. So many trips all stuck together. Hmm. So when life hits you, it hits you like a freaking train, right? So I can't really do anything about that. Hmm. We need some of those. I have so many cough drops, guys. I have like a whole box full of cough drops. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different kinds of cough drops at my desk. Um, 
in like this box of just throat soothing things because I talk so much that and sing so much that I have to have it. <laughs> some some throat candies I like more than others. Some I barely touch because they taste like salon pots, but somebody like juiced salon pots and then put sugar in it is quite nasty. I hate those. But it is what it is. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Half crap. We're singing, talking. Most streamers have like a thing of throat lozenges by their desk, so. I am no different. I am one of those people. Mm. I don't know where to put this cult. Oh my god. I bought way too much. I do want to make something for everyone. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I also got a. I also got an actual couch for the living room and got rid of the bean bag that me and my sister use all the time because it was getting nasty. So I actually got a couch at IKEA the other day too. And uh, so yeah, we have a couch now, so cool. But it's already taken over by all my plushies, so I don't know what the point of that was. I'll be very honest with you. <laughs> um, all the plushies already took it over, so there's that. Um, that's what's going on in my life. Um, a couch, yeah, a couch. I got a couch, a real couch. Yeah. Kind of nice. I play Otome games on it. <laughs> I play Otome games and read BL. That's what I've been doing um, to sort of calm down these days when you guys aren't around. Mm. And it's like off hours. Or I need me time. I've just been reading BL and playing Otome games. Um, just very girly, but. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really talk about a lot of my girly daily hobbies because I feel like you guys won't be interested, but I have some girly ass hobbies too, you know? Mm. Mm. Which Otome games? I like um, Love in Deep Space right now. It's like a phone gacha game. Uh, it's really good. It's really, They're really advanced on the Otome game here like the the freaking immersion is crazy it's actually crazy the immersion is insane um what else um and then for bl i haven't really found one that i really really like but i i was reading this one about a pizza guy who's sexy and he meets this other sexy pizza guy no no he delivers to this sexy guy in a rich mansion and then, surprisingly, not the stereotypical thing happens. Nothing happened. <laughs> Nothing happened. And I was like, well, at least the main characters are, are sexy. Um, yeah, the, there was no cheese with the, there was no sausage. So I don't know. I'm still waiting for something to happen. I'm like, come on, do something. <laughs> so far, they literally just. <laughs> Pizza. I don't know. I know. It's kind of cute because um, in the story, there's like this pizza guy. He used to not be a pizza guy. He used to be like this, um, um, this like office worker, but then he got laid off because uh, he got into a fight with these assholes and the company took the asshole side. So he got laid off and his friend was like, well, you're hot. So you should work for my aunt's pizza place. They only hire hot guys, and you get a job right away. And he's like, I. So he gets a job at the pizza place, and he delivers to this guy who is like Menhira. He's like a shut in, right? And then, um, and then, <laughs> and then, so this guy is like literally so Menhira agoraphobic. That's the word, agoraphobic. He hates people, he hates crowds, he hates, he's just scared of going outside. Um, 
And then um, he's like this buff, like muscly, crazy looking buff Korean oppa. And then, um, yeah, and he takes the pizza. And he goes sit and sits inside to eat. And then his roommate was like, has the pizza. And he's like, good. And then the roommate chuckles a bit. It's like, how is the delivery boy? I heard that this place only has hot delivery boys. And then he doesn't say anything, just gives a thumbs up. And then the next day, he orders the, from the pizza place five several times, five separate times, waiting to see if that same pizza guy would show up. Uh, but he didn't. So he ate five pizzas. And he didn't get fat. Which is the most unrealistic thing about the story. Um, Skitho behavior. But uh, yeah, that's what he did. Uh, and that's as far as the story goes. It's kind of boring. <laughs> as you guys can see. <laughs> as you guys can see. Yeah. I'm not, it's not really. I'm like, man. <laughs> nothing happens. They just eat five pizzas. Literally nothing happened. Anyways, sorry, woman things. Um, yeah, the guy had the fat metabolism or something. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyways, yeah, that was uh, that's what's happening right now. Um, love in space time. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's uh, yeah, it's just it's just good auto making, good auto making. They know exactly what women want. It's weird. Like, they know exactly. Like, there's a part where you play the Otome game and you go on a date, right? You go on a date with this guy, like, in the game. And then you go to an arcade and you're playing, uh, like, the claw machines. You don't play the claw machine. The Otome game guy plays for you. While you cheer him on! I'm like, that's crazy! That's the big brain! <laughs> that's, so, that's the big brain! Oh my gosh! Um, I was like, wow, these Ultimate games are built different these days! That's insane! That's actually insane! Yeah, anyways. So, um, I thought it was pretty fun. I thought that was pretty fun. They didn't have lots of other stuff when I was a teenager then. We had to play like crappy Otome games, but the kids these days have it. They have it good, chat. Oh my god. Our, um, the humans as species is probably doomed. <laughs> That's what I think. Mm. Diet Coke. Not beer. I swear, not beer. I'm not drinking. No alcohol today. For a matter of hours, no. No, no more. No alcohol. I've been drinking a little. I've been drinking a little too much. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm drinking a little too much. Mm. Just, just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. All you know. It is what it is. <laughs> mm. Uh, Diet Coke. No, there's no rum in it. I swear. I blame iPad for and so why humans are doomed. Yeah, that's what they say every year. I don't. Humans are very resilient, guys. I just say that as a joke. I don't think we're actually... Oh, eventually it will be doomed because... Planet pollution, but it's not my problem. It's not my problem. Where the hell is my driver's license? My driver's license is supposed to come in the mail. And, uh... Yup. Yeah. It's not here yet, so I'm a little worried. A little worried, chat. Mm. Uh, alcoholic grandma. Look, I don't want to become an alcoholic. I don't want to become an alcoholic. I'm also uh, waiting for health insurance because I don't have health insurance right now. So there's a lot of paperwork to go through. But I'll do that later. <laughs> that makes sense. 
It's only male. So much male. Yeah. I have like a giant trash bag with me. So, so I could throw stuff away as I go through it. So that's been... <sighs> Um, and then a lot of artist cards I found from a con that I went to a while ago. Mm. Uh, I remember you stressing about that banana mango island trip. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my house is pretty. My, how do you say? Um, my gastro health, gastric health, gastrointestinal health, kind of, kind of doo doo. Not gonna lie, and I, it's hard to get it checked because it's so expensive without insurance. And um, I just want to make sure it's not like. Something really terrifying. I really doubt it is, but there's a chance. And it's just been pulling teeth trying to get these appointments done. So, yeah, that, that's a little stressful, but it is what it is. It is what it is. So, it's a little like pulling teeth trying to get, um, like, your appointments. Like, my... My therapist also changed practices, so I don't know if I still have a therapist, which I'm a little concerned about because she is very important to me. And, like, a big reason why I'm doing so well right now, guys, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it's funny because I was... I was talking to staff, and the staff was asking me if I wanted anything in particular. Um, cause I did a lot of work for Face Connect, so they were they wondering if there's anything I wanted, which is very sweet, right? And I said, no, there's not really anything I want right now. Everything's actually going really good. Wasakana said, you can bank it. You can bank this. So if you want anything later, let us know. So I'm really, I'm really happy that I've been considered it. <laughs> but seriously, it's been great. I really couldn't ask for more right now. You guys have been really wonderful to me. Um, especially since I got back from the island, I just feel like things are going really good. So I just don't feel like asking for anything right now, personally. <laughs> <laughs> Take a favor. Yeah, rare, rare fish man. Oh, w. Yeah. Mm. Um, screenshot not to check mail. No, you don't need to do that. It's fine. I was really happy to hear that. But yeah, I really don't have anything to complain about right now. Just the absolute freaking mess that is my freaking work area. It's probably the only thing that's really bothering me right now. Um, so slowly I am putting my stuff back together, putting my routine back together too. I don't know where I put all this deco done bullshit. Where did I put it? Hmm. We love you lots. Oh, I love you guys too. I love you guys too. I love your cookies so much. It's always ups and downs. Don't let the downs get you too much. We have downs, but I'm not sure more downs will be happening, but I'm fine right now. I think I'm getting better at keeping my own peace. I think that's made a difference. I don't really. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of people here at Faze now, and 
I, I love to get along with everyone, but I'm not forcing myself to like overextend my social capabilities, you know. So I'm not. I don't like stress about getting to know everyone. I'm just like it's okay. It's okay if we get to know each other. We get to know each other. If we don't, we don't. You know. No stress. Just keeping my own. Bubble. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I do want to get to know my gen mates a little better, though. Like, I really want to. Yeah, that's probably my number one thing is getting to know my own gen mates a little bit more before I start collabing with the new girls. I just feel like I owe that to them um, to get to know them a little bit more before I branch out. <laughs> so, yeah, it's hard. It's hard with our gen because the time zones are so wacky. So we don't really actually get to talk to each other too often, I guess. Mm, yeah. Mm. Uh, regarding overlap, it's hard to coordinate schedules of uh, so many talents now, or does everyone just do what's easiest for themselves? Um, here's the thing. I think this is something that uh, a lot of phase viewers are concerned about because you guys are used to us being kind of a small company. Because there was, like, not very many girls up until very recently, right? Uh, but now there's a lot of girls. And you just can't watch everyone, you know? It's just it's just the way that it is. Like, you pick a couple talents that you like to watch the most, and then you just kind of stick with that. Um, and you're, it, it's not, we're not really designed that you're for the... We're not really designed so that you can catch everybody unless you're insane. Um, which, you know, hats off to you if you're able to. Um, but yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, when five people are streaming at the same time, choices have to be made. There's like restrictions, right? I'm one of the lucky talents that don't have to. I don't have work outside, so I don't have like a separate job right now. This is like the only thing that I'm doing. Um, and I get to dedicate all my time to it. Um, even then, uh, I've always been in my 3 p.m. time slot since day one. I remember pre debut. Uh, I, rem I I was in a meeting with Sakna. I was like, what time would you like me to be in? And even back then, he said two, uh, 3 p.m. PST. And I was like, okay. And I've always been in 3 p.m. PST unless I have gorillas or collabs. Um, and yeah, stuff like this, just off the clock. But usually, usually, if I stream, it's 3 p.m. PST. It always will be that way. Um, and like, I guess I'm flexible in terms of making collabs and moving things around, but in terms of my time slot, I'm locked in because I've been there since day one. I don't want to change it. Um, but some of the other girls, like Jelly has school, obviously, and Irie has work. Some other girls also have work. I don't know how much they've said about themselves, so I don't want to, I don't want to like preemptively reveal too much, you know? Um, there's like like there's certain hours they can't stream, right? And then with school, it's like every semester it's a new schedule, so they will move their streams accordingly, right? Uh, so it's some of them are not as flexible, you know, but it is what it is, you know. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 I've been watching overlap. I don't like choosing who I have to watch. It makes me feel bad. Yeah, I mean, it's just like if you look at Hollow Live or Niji Sanji or um, any of the bigger companies with a lot of girls, it's just it's unavoidable. Overlap is overlap, right? Like it's just the way that it's just the way that it is, and uh, there's no going around it, right? <laughs> there's no going around it. Like if I move to a slot with less overlap. I feel like for me, who's been in 3 p.m. 
my entire career thus far with Faye is kind of like, I don't want to do that to my fans, you know? So um, I just stay put, just stay in my lane. Stay in my lane and, you know, hope for the best. That's what I do. Yeah. Mm. I don't know how people keep up with more than three girls consistently. See, with, like, even with me as a fan, I only keep up, I don't keep up with all the girls at Hello. For me, it's Ina, my Oshi, which I barely, I still already barely have time for because I'm a streamer myself and there's a lot to do. Um, and maybe Biju sometimes because she's my, like, probably number two. Um, that's it. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really, I don't really keep up with more than that. Um, maybe some of the JPs when they have like big events. Um, but that's all. Like that's all the time I have, right? So that's what it means so much to me, or to any of the girls really that you Oshi, that you continuously choose them while they're streaming, right? Um, so that's why. You guys are like a priority, right, to all of us. I think every streamer will feel this way, especially now. It's kind of like if you're tuning in, you're making us your priority. And that means a lot because that's, that's crazy. Right? It's crazy. There's a crazy amount of girls, crazy. I bet your lives are crazy. There's a lot you guys have to do outside of watching us talk and do stupid stuff. So, um, yeah, it means a lot. It means a lot. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's why we're here. Thank you. You only watch Punk over. Yeah, out of phase, I only really watch Punk over regularly because she's in a perfect time slot for me because I would have got gotten up, eaten breakfast, gotten ready for the day, and then I'm like doing stuff in the morning and Punk goes on, you know, and then like right before I stream. So as I'm like prepping for the day and stuff, like she's my background noise. Um, She's like a part of my routine. So she's my girl, you know? Yeah. Uh, Muyu, I catch when I'm prepping for my stream. Um, but Panko probably is the person I watch most regularly out of Base Connect. I used to watch more girls, but ever since I became a streamer, it's kind of. <laughs> I don't have a lot of time to um, just spend watching people. So. Panko's just kind of like in that slot, right? Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I need to put this through my yarn winder. There's so much yarn everywhere. I need to re-spin it. <laughs> Just watch the VODs at 2x speed. I can't do that. It's overstimulating. Uh, Mima is a girl observer. What does that mean? Aren't you girl observers too? You guys observe us? Is that what we are? That's very specific. Instead of uh, listeners or watchers or I call you girl observers. <laughs> well, the spacing archive. No, it's just just a casual talk. I will not archive this. It's just uh, me cleaning. So I'm not even really doing anything entertaining right now. <laughs> In the morning, yeah, well, I'm going through all the stuff. In my room. Well, not my room, my office area. Observe the women. Yay. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Okay. I can't. I can't. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is how this is garbage. Okay. 
Oh, there's a lot of stuff over there, too. Okay, let's move to... You know how I'm in the living room, right? Like, I bought a shelf to divide where my computer is or versus where the couch so that it divides the, the living room into, like, my office and then... And then the, the freaking living area where the couch is. And it's just a hot mess right now. <laughs> it's just a hot mess. I have to get rid of some of this furniture. Like, I had this really rickety shelf. Um, and it's, it's so old. Like, the doors don't even freaking close. And, like... God, I'm just too lazy to haul off the old, the old stuff. Mm. Yeah, Pingy Speak content. There's some organizing your room. Take a picture of it for some reason. Look at a picture. I, I never had that problem. I'm actually pretty good at cleaning, but yeah, because of new furniture, I everything's out of place. I'm going to put you guys in the shelf and move this. Move this shelf somewhere because it's annoying me. Right. It's almost as tall as me. It's not going to work out very well. I'll just put it here. Yeah, it works. I'll just put it here for now. Okay, that works. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Mm. Now I can't see what you guys are saying. Cause I have to go to my computer. Damn it! I should put us on the. I didn't put it. <laughs> I didn't put you guys on the shelf. Um, I have a candle going too. It's like pure vibes right now. Pure wine mom vibes. I will not break out the wine today. I will not break down the wine today. I will not drink the wine today. Swear on it. Hmm. Anyone else prone to drinking alcohol during the freaking winter? Or is it just me? It like keeps you warm. I need to stop though. I need to stop. Mm. Why not stand there? Can you slip the screen? No, because when I go over there in the living room, I can't I can't bring my computer screen with me. Maybe I can pull you guys up on my phone. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Now I can see you guys. Mm. Oof, I'm getting burped because of the Diet Coke. Hmm. Where did that come? So much trash. I need a vacuum. Oh. Oh. What is this? Box. It's here. Good stuff. So much stuff. <laughs> You really drink nice. It's probably the best thing you can do for your body is to not drink alcohol. Um. Okay. So I took everything out of the old shelves. I have to go through a bunch of stuff. Um. And then vacuum. Yikes. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Oh, the couch over okay, Never mind. That's just. I thought there was a, there was like a dead, a dead spider on the couch, but it was just my hair. It was just my hair. Unfortunate. Unfortunately. Don't do drugs. 
Wait, wait, why bring up meth? I'm not actually cooking meth, guys. What the hell, chat? What the hell? Um, long hair problems. Yeah, my hair is too long. Alright, let's just try. Let's try. A letter. Oh, a Christmas card. Oh, thank you. That's something. Hmm. I'll get my sister to pick if that's still useful to her. <laughs> you know, cooking? No, I'm not cooking. Unless you count the silicone fumes as cooking, then yes, I'm cooking. Oh my god, old con badges, really? Barbara, what's this? Oh my god. I have all my sister's IDs from when she was in middle school and high school. Oh my god, that's crazy. Why do I have this in here? The hell? So cute. She was so small. Oh, so cute. Oh, I have a picture of us as toddlers. Oh, so cute. Ooh, that's a keep for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ever since uh, Grandma passed away, I've been the keeper of the pictures and memories since. Grandpa's not really too good at that, so I inherited the keepsakes. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, my old cosplay photos. Amazing. I'll put that away. <laughs> oh my god. Old cosplay Purikura. Oh, oh! Me and my high school best friend, Purikura, amazing, amazing! Oh my God, high school pictures, mortifying, mortifying. Um. Oh wow, these are so. God. <gasps> I have a picture of my little sister drinking beer because my parents are irresponsible. Yeah, bye. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. What's this? What's this? Oh my god! Oh my god! I have a uh, picture. Uh, I just found this drawing that I kept of uh, a freaking um. <laughs> it's a uh, Princess Mokuba uh, from Yu-Gi-Oh, and the story behind that is I went to play at locals when i was younger like when i was it was a long time ago and i met this person who really is guy who really liked mokuba like weirdly so and uh yeah they drew me a mokuba picture for some reason and uh yeah is uh yeah it was uh i just thought it was funny so i kept the picture and now it's a weird reminder of that encounter um yeah <laughs> i met kaiba uh, mm, sure <laughs> i 
don't know. I don't know. It was. It was. It was weird. Um. Oh my God! Toddler picture. High school prom. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my God! These are so old. <gasps> My sister in her crib! Oh my god, that's so cute! Wait, no, wait, is that me or my sister? Is that me? No, that's my sister. It can't, it can't be me. There's my grandmother's writing on the back. That denotes the day it was taken. That's my sister, for sure. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> um... So much, <gasps> so many memories. Cute, cute. Oh my god, a picture from. Oh my god, that's crazy. I had a oshi when I was younger. When I was a younger girl, from like a boy band, a J-pop group, and I still have. The picture of my Oshi from back then. Uh, my friend went to Japan to get it for me. And as as a younger kid, that meant a lot, right? When when your friends like I had a wealthy friend when she went to Japan and got it for me. Yeah, my sister and I looked really alike as kids, but as we grew, we looked more and more different from each other. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Not 2 p.m. 2 p.m. is uh 2 p.m. is Korean. <laughs> it was J-pop. So my OC in J-pop was um was Yamapi Yamashita Tomoisa. But uh yeah, I don't know the guy. I, I, I think the guy is he married? I'm not sure. That was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. I was just a young seamstress. Yeah, I don't really have an idol Oshi right now. And let's see. Oh my god, these chibis are so cute. Okay, all these memories go in one box, and then I'm going to box it away. Oh my god, all my old Kudo, Kudo Kudo Basket merch! Oh my god! I didn't know I still had these. Crazy. Love Kudo Kudo Basket. You'd be hard pressed to find a girl who didn't like Kudo Kudo Basket. Every girl like Kudo Kudo Basket. Kuro Kono basketball. That's that's that was like every woman's fever dream. Oh, uh, let's see. Wait, Yamafi was in a movie last year. He's still active. That's crazy. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I'm kind of aged out of uh of that sort of thing. I don't know. I just. Not my thing anymore. I'm just a VTuber. I'm just a VTuber. Mm -hmm. It's kind of nice here. The older I get, the more pictures feel valuable. I wish I took more when I was younger. That's a thing, right? That's a thing. I think about it sometimes. I, uh... I don't really take pictures anymore. Um... So, it's just, yeah. A lot of privacy reasons, too. So... Yeah, that's a shame. It's the one thing. It's the one thing about what we do, I think, as YouTubers. They don't really take pictures or post online because you never know you never know you never know guys you never know mm. <sighs> is it called a 
numbers are little treasures. I agree. I agree with that. <clears throat> Look, when I was younger, I was way more vain, okay? <laughs> I was way more vain and took a lot more pictures. And you work as a model, you know. You kind of get obsessed with your own face. A little vain creature. A lot of young girls are. Uh, but yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Mm -hmm. No matter what, though, it's good to take care of yourself. So, yeah, <clears throat> what I think. This is not hurting nobody. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. What? God, I should probably end up. Hold on. Mm. I keep a diary now, so luckily I do have memories, but. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> I'm doing a better job at memory keeping than I was before. Learn that, really, guys. Mm. Gonna unpack from the trip now. Jelly just asked you for a commission, did she? I sh yeah, she can commission anything. I'm getting like new resin and stuff. Oh no, are these clean undies? Yeah, they're clean. Okay, gotta fold. Put the clean panty somewhere. Clean panty. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I feel like my memory is getting worse as I get older. Um, when I was younger, I remembered everything. Now it's a little bit of a struggle remembering stuff compared to before, which is not something I completely expected, but makes total sense. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what's funny? I can say this now. It's not going to stay, but I'm getting, I see some comments in other girls' chats. You know, I saw in Irie's chat, like, Oh, Sheena's so horny now. And I'm like, I don't think I've changed, guys. I really don't think I have changed. I've just been like this. I've always been a bit sussy since day one. So I, I don't know where they're getting that, but I, I, whatever. Mm. Mm. Um. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what? I haven't really been different. It's just always been like this. I've always been a little sussy. It's always been the case. I don't really remember a time when it wasn't. Yeah. You I, exactly. I was literally worse during the Witcher the Witcher era. So now I just kind of say sussy things on accident. And I just roll with it because it comes out of my mouth, and I'm just like, okay. I guess I'll roll with it since it's already out there. <laughs> that's that's really the thought process. I'm like, well, I've already dug my own hole, dug my own freaking grave. Might as well freaking keep keep digging. We're here already, I guess. <laughs> I'll just roll with it. Yeah. Um. That sounded like you kind of wanted to hook up with Irie. See, it's just the way I talk. I don't really think about it. And when I don't think about it, I just wonder why I was so stiff at the beginning. But keep, I'm like this. I'm like this. So it's hard for me to be stay so because I just, 
say things and they turn out the way they do and then if you don't roll with it you just sound like you're you're suppressing yourself like oh but yeah mm. just it's just it's just how it is it's better to roll with it it's better to roll with it shot there is no point mm. yeah at least Sakura thinks you're say-so. I don't think he thinks I'm say-so anymore, Chat. I really don't. He saw my crab stream. I think it ruined, <laughs> ruined it for him. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Just to me, it's not even a bit. It's literally, I talk like this in real life and get in trouble, too. And the, the worst thing. Okay, here's the thing, right? You know when Irie says something weird, but then she has no idea that what she said? So she just rolls with it. So it feels more natural, right? My problem is the words come out, but I immediately realize what came out of my mouth. So I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> that sounded really, really off. Not exactly what I meant. So, yeah. Um, so there's a moment of, oh, wait, I shouldn't have. I, no, mm, I, I fucked that up. I fucked that up good. <laughs> No, it's a little awkward sometimes of an experience. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um. Yeah. Yeah. No, she didn't mean the crab outfit stream. It was the water bottle stream. A water bottle stream. Um. Okay. Water bottle stream. What? Hmm. And Zaga didn't say anything nice to you when you and Jelly did the interview. That's the thing. Um, we are. Gen 2 has a middle child feeling. I don't know if it's okay to say, but we are middle children of Phase Connect. Like, we're not as experimental as the first gen. And we weren't a breakout hit like Gen 3. So we were, even with me, like if you look at me for an example, it took me a year and a half to really blossom as a streamer, I feel like. Like, if I watch my streams now, and, like, I'm really happy with them. But that's a recent development, right? I had to, like, figure out what I wanted and what kind of thing I was good at. It took a long time, and it makes me really happy to see, like, Panko, too, is especially finding her footing right now. And I'm really, really proud of everyone. Um, uh, but yeah, but yeah, we, we are not like, we're kind of like, uh, we do our best and we are carving out our little place, but it wasn't like a bam, instant success sort of moment. So, um, I think, I think, yeah, I think that is deeply felt <laughs> within all of us and my gen. Um, so, so yeah, so yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm, am I surprised? No, I'm not surprised. And I, I'm not really... Is it something that bothers us? Maybe in the past, but I can't speak for everyone else. I can only speak for myself. I'm not bothered by it. Because I just... No matter what anyone thinks of anyone, I just sort of think that... We... Are just still going to do our thing. Like, it's not going to change anything. Why put all these extra thoughts in your head? We're still going to stream. We're still going to do our best. Who cares if we're the middle children? That's what I think. So you don't need to be sorry for not being here from the start. What matters is you're here now. And it's a great place. It's a great time to be here because I. And you can. I'm sure the older cookies, too, would uh, like open their arms and tell you a little bit more. But it wasn't always it was a lot of downs for the cookies for a little bit. Like we had to work through some stuff. And if you're coming in now, it's good. That means. Like we have finally a vibe that can 
can um we can tango finally as streamer and viewer so it's a great time to be here so you don't need to be sorry it's a not anything you need to apologize for so don't apologize mm. yeah mm. yeah those are good times uh yeah thank you thank you mm. yeah we're pioneers we're not explosive hits exactly i wish it's mine that's fine Mm, that's what I think, though. I can't speak for anyone else. And plus, it's just, there's no point in fighting it. I just don't think, like, you know, sometimes you get a breakout hit, and sometimes you need time. And I definitely needed time, so. I'm just happy to be here. I do feel like I won the lottery by being here with Face Connect, and it's not going to change, so. Uh, yeah. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Mm. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, there were, there were rough patches, there were rough patches, you know, um, but it's fine, <laughs> it's fine, I'd rather be here than anywhere else, mm. let's see if I can do, I remember when Irina was all ada ada and after a while she got Zomer and the gap more is so cute. Irina is just very cute. She's a very cute person. She's a very cute person. Mm. I was honestly super hyped for Gen 2. Y'all really delivered. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there was a lot of panic. I don't know if I can, again, I don't know if I can speak for everyone. Uh, but there was like a lot of panic in my gen when we debuted because I think in all honesty, I don't think we made as big of an impact as we as we wanted to make. Um so yeah. Yeah, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Mm. Hold on, let me throw some stuff in the laundry. Mm. Just a little bit. Give me a second. Um, this can go in too. Yeah, bu 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 bu. I feel bad like I'm just a tourist because I like to watch and support pretty much everyone. I can't pick one and only one to give all my attention to, so I feel like I miss out. You don't need to feel bad about that. It's okay. You, we are here for your entertainment and for your enjoyment and however you enjoy it. And if you're somebody that doesn't have an Oshi and likes to just watch everyone or whatever interests you, that's completely valid. Like You don't need to feel bad about that. As long as you're supporting us, that's all we can really ask for, really. You know? Hmm. Um. Uh, I joined the whole VTuber facing like thing late, so I'm catching up on Gen 2 debut. It was funny to see Irie picking you up and trying to recruit you to her army. <laughs> yeah, that lore was fun. I, I didn't realize how big in that lore would become. I'll be very honest. Um. I really didn't realize it because... Um, hold on, let me drop this in the washer real quick. Um, you noticed, like, the basement lore and stuff? That was all derived from my lore video. And then Gen 3, all of their basement lore, like, that was, that was derived from my lore video. So, um, I was really happy to see how much of an impact that made. So that was fun. That was really fun. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Gen 2 has become a very solid group. Thank you. Yeah, basement is PC canon. The basement lives on. The canon now. Yeah, it came from my debut. The basement came from my debut. So that was fun. Yeah, <laughs> that was fun. Um, and the, the appearance of the phase 
building too also came from my lore. So that was fun. And then, yeah. Yeah. I had a lot to be proud of, um, especially with the Gen 3 debuts. Uh, personally, yeah. <laughs> personally, I had a lot to be proud of. So I'm really happy with that. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, Mumi appearance. Almost took four years of watching tubers because of commitment issues. I can finally call some of my Oshi now. Aww, thank you. It's so cute. I mean, if it's not me, it's still fine. But thank you so much. It's okay. Um, I don't blame you for having commitment issues. It's just, especially right now, it's been crazy, right? A lot of stuff going on in the VTuber world. Um, you don't know, you know, like, it's scary. It's like, I feel like VTuber careers either are super long or are very, like, ephemeral. Uh, but personally, I don't plan on... Not being Sheena, so yeah, it's the only thing I really got going for me right now. So I don't plan on going anywhere, <laughs> I don't plan on going anywhere. So, mm, yeah, mm. I don't plan on going anywhere. I joined Facenick late with Invaders. I first heard about Facenick because of Hima's birthday. YouTube ads eventually found you afterwards. Oh, thank you. I'm still in Oshi Limbo, but it's face connect. Oh, it's okay being in Oshi Limbo. Hopefully you find the girl for you. Yeah. Hmm. Um, things have been moving fast recently. Yeah, I mean, I think the market is maturing right now. Like it really is. I think the market is maturing right now. Um, VTubers have been around for around like in the in the big mainstream eye for around four year, four or five years now. So, hmm. Yeah, mm. I can't really claim to have a single Oshi. That's fine, but you've pretty much been cemented as an Oshi since the view. It means a lot to me, guys. It really does. It really, really does, chat. It really does. I found Sheena from a raid with the 100k celebration. Aww. <laughs> oh, yeah, the foot stream. <laughs> the foot stream. Oh, my God. Um, I felt... I actually apologized to Pippo because I didn't know that was happening that day, so... Uh, I didn't realize she was streaming her 100k, otherwise I wouldn't have streamed over her, but that was another thing I learned, uh, back then. Yeah. Yeah, but a lot of people came from that raid, yeah. A lot of people came from that raid. You know what's sad, because it makes sense, because I kind of, like, I do say sussy stuff, and if you're there for, like, a, like, a foot raid... <laughs> I guess, you know, I guess that's how, like, why some of you stayed. It makes sense in my mind. I don't know what that says about you guys, but I promise it's nothing bad. It's a little sussy, but not necessarily bad. Um, let's see. Uh -huh. you, had, you held your own on that raid. Pippa raids scare many. Pippa, I think it's because I know enough about the internet to not get scared by the capitalist, personally. Like, I, I come off kind of delicate. A little bit. I have a... How do you say? A funny... How do I describe myself? I'm, like, a little confusing to some people. Because one moment I can seem very, like, I like Quint and well put together, and I sound very, like, delicate. I have a delicate disposition. And all of a sudden, I'll give you whiplash and say something so weird that you're just like, what? She doesn't make any sense to me. What did she just fucking say? Um, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> you know, so I don't really get scared off by the capitalists at all. Um, I think, I think they're funny. I think they're funny, cat. 
Mm. That's a part of your charm. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm not saying anything that's bad about what how I am, but um, yeah, some people are just confused by it, you know. I don't blame them, uh, but that's just who I am. So it is what it is, and I'm glad you guys vibe with it. That makes me happy. Mm. Yeah, I'm wholesomely cursed. Exactly. That's just what it is. Hmm. Um. Mm. I love the war bus. Oh, I love the cookies. You can match your Pipkin any day of the week. I, if I unleash myself, I can be as schizo as them. I, I'm just basically one of them. You know what I mean? That's what, how I feel about Capipolis. If I just went incognito, went on a burner, I could blend in. And that's a, that's a terrifying thing about me, I suppose. But any given day, I could just go incognito and become a Kapipi and completely blend in. Like, not a trace. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Mm. Um, the thing is, I, I don't think I can attract. I don't, I don't think I can handle. Just because I'm like that doesn't mean I'm as good as Pippa at like handling that sort of attention. Pippa's really good at, like, not getting baited into saying really bad stuff. Like, she knows where the line is. I am not too good at surfing, walking the tightrope, you know, <laughs> as she is. That's why I don't go as hard. Does that make sense? Yeah, I just get really confused. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um... Um, I I try not to walk that rope. I'm just not as good at it as it as Pippa. That's just how it is. Hmm. You did a pretty good job handling that one super chatter in the water bottle stream. Shout out to um Cookie Cell. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Cookie Cell. My heart, my heart was with you, my bro. I'm cheering for you, my guy. I'm cheering for you. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah I'm, I'm cheering for you man i hope you know that mm. uh, let's see um <laughs> i'm cheering for you guys okay i'm cheering for you guys um I made a joke out of it, but I have sympathy. I have sympathy for those. I think it's being autistic helps me have sympathy for these sorts. It's hard. It's hard. I get it. I understand. Mm. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't see what they were talking. You don't have to worry about it. If you don't get it, you don't get it. It's not really worth it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> I get it, though. You know, like, um, there's something in the way that I am and that I talk that's a little off-putting to some people. Uh, and I've been told it makes you kind of unlikable. It's my autism. It's because it's my autism, right? So, um, when when all your life there's people who you feel like you can't really be yourself around people, you're looking for somebody to blame, right? That's completely understandable. I have sympathy, so yeah. Mm. Um. Cheering for you guys. Cheering for you guys if you feel that way. Um, you're un unlikable. I'm glad you guys think so. Yeah, you didn't understand either. You don't need to understand. If you don't understand, that's fine. Yeah. What did they say initial block? No, I'm not going to say. It's easy to find. The, the bomb is up. It's a funny moment. It was very clippable. <laughs> no. Yeah. <clears throat> Mm. It's not important. 
I don't think you're unlikable. Thank you! Thank you. It's kind of like... I've always said, like, I think, uh... I'm a little too... It's either too straightforward or too roundabout. I don't know how to communicate properly with people. Um... And, like, I'm weird, but I'm also, like, highly functional. People don't know what to make of me. People don't know what to make of me. That's fine. Mm. That's what I've heard, at least. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm very functional. For an autistic person, I'm, like, very high-functioning. I don't think I've ever had any problems with, like, functioning in life, getting things done to live. I don't need a caretaker. I'm very independent. But there's just something off about me. <laughs> Which is fine. Because <laughs> aren't we all? Uh, yeah. I'm just, uh, communication hard. I'm not perfect. Yeah. Mm. Um, Q. If you have difficulty with it, it doesn't show on stream. Thank you. Thank you. It, it comes off as momentary rudeness with people off stream. Like if I'm talking to someone, I can be very accidentally rude and then offend someone without knowing when my intention was completely different. Like, for example, I remember there was this one incident where I had with a girl and I was, um, I wanted to buy her a new phone case. For her birthday. <laughs> right? And I'm like, can I see your phone case? And I was trying to hint towards what I wanted to buy them. Right? Because it was, I knew it was their birthday in like two days. And um, I'm like, you need a new phone case. And she took that as like, wow, Sheena hates my phone case. She said my phone case was ugly. You know, like, like... <laughs> So, a lot of moments like that, um, a lot of things, I, I say and do a lot of things that are completely misrepresent um, what I wanted to say. And so people will sort of think weirdly of me because they, they didn't, they didn't like parse my intentions because it's hard. Um, so, <laughs> I would do the same. No, really. No, it's just. Yeah, stuff like that. Stuff like that. Um, or when I was in leadership, there's a lot of like, I would say things maybe too plainly. So that people would tell me, you're not like soft enough on your team. Like you need, you need more, you need to be a little more soft. But I'm just like literally telling them what my manager told me to tell them. So that was rough. People skills not really up there. I mean, it's it's like it's like um it's like how do you say it's not like unfunctional. It's normal enough so that normal people wouldn't suspect that I have autism. But it's just a little off to make people think weirdly, like what's her intentions? You know, it's it's just it's just in that uncanny valley. Where people are like, there's something weird about her. Um, so that's that's where my autism is at. It's like, I'm so normal, but at the same time, there's just enough that's off. It makes people wonder, like, what's her deal? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my people skills are so bad. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. The wonders of management, yeah, is just enough enough to make people feel weird. Yeah, it's just 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 a touch, just a smidge. So it might it might de I make a lot of jokes about it now, but it's literally a smidge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Skinwalker, no, 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 no. They think I'm a skinwalker. Like I'm a, I'm like a, yeah, like literally. You know, how these people take pictures of like. Take videos of dogs and say my dog's a skinwalker, like, but it's me, but it's Sheena Manogawa. It's me. I'm kind of you. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, let's see. Mmm. Our dog. <laughs> My dog. No. I'm not a furry. I'm not a furry. I'm not a furry. I'm not a furry. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a furry. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I've been told I remind people of like a small dog, but even my mom says that. She's like, you know, you remind me of a small dog. Particularly a sheet suit. It looks exactly like you. The one with the show with the long hair. And I'm like, wow, my mom thinks I'm a little uh, show dog. That's funny. Because I really was that. <laughs> I literally was a show dog of sorts. Um, just, you know, doing my little, little woman modeling things, you know, like literally a show dog with a sheet suit. Small yappy dog, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, <laughs> yeah, I have sheet suit energy, like with the long hair. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, we're making progress. We're making progress out here. So many things thrown away. We're making progress, boys. We're making it. Hold on. Management. Management. What do you want with me? Um. Hold on. I need to check my grandpa's itinerary. What is his itinerary? Grandpa's itinerary. Quick. Grandpa's itinerary. Still. I think I got the day wrong. I might have to move my. I might have to move my streams around. Hold on. Gosh dang it, I do. <laughs> gosh damn, darn it. And yeah, I have to move my stream. I might stream tomorrow. I might do my art stream tomorrow, chat. You heard it here. Go spread the word. Go spread the word. I'm changing my schedule. Ooh. Hold on. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right, we're good. We're cooking. I caught it early, yes. This is what I do after stream. Just stress out over my freaking schedule. This is ever-changing. Oh, like... I wish that I only could just concentrate on my stream. Um... But... It's not like that when you're an adult. There's so many things to worry about. Um, yeah. That's the thing. That's the thing about... I'm, like, really locked into this streaming thing, Kat. I am... Um, I've decided this is what I want to do. Like, it's streaming or bust. Honestly, so... Um, yeah. Basically, it's streaming your bust for me. So, I don't plan on going anywhere. I always said, um, but there was a little point in time, um, that where it got really rough. 
that I didn't know if I could promise you guys that anymore, but I'm past that now, so. Things are going really well. <laughs> I'm past that now, so. Pretty good. Things are good. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so there's nothing to worry about. <clears throat> nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh, it's good to hear. Thank you. It's not anyone's fault. It's not your guys' fault. It's more of my fault than anything, really. So, it's not you guys. Um, I don't think I represented myself very well. <laughs> Basically, um, and got myself into a bit of a pickle. But, um, we're good now. We're good now. Luckily, we turned it around. <clears throat> Let's see. You, yeah, I can't go anywhere. I've been buying a Sheena coin. I'm going to ride it to the moon. I'm not going anywhere, chat. I'm not going anywhere. <clears throat> but no, you, you had a bunch of schizos. It's my fault. It's my fault that they schizoed out. And I feel very sorry for them. Um... When streamer can't decide, pretty much, what kind of streamer they want to be, some people aren't there to figure it out with you, you know? They'll just frustrate people. That's what I was doing. I was frustrating people. So, I don't blame them. I don't blame them at all. Um, but that makes me very thankful for you guys. So, makes me happy. Hmm. I'll see. Oh, very sweet. Thank you. Basically, I don't know what I took away from this, guys. I'm not preaching to the I'm not preaching to the choir here or anything. But what I learned is that it's cool to want people to like you. For sure, it's cool to want people to like you. Like you can't be bending over backwards and trying to change yourself for everyone you meet. I think as being an autistic person, you always want to chameleon your way into being likable. But you, you can't really do that all the time. Um, yeah, figure out your own boundaries and what you actually want to do. You can't bend to everybody's will all the time. It's in your spineless, so... Trying your own boundaries is important, chat. Just remember that. Mm. Can't do everything everybody wants you to do. Gotta do what you want to do. <laughs> uh, especially when you have hundreds or even thousands of people all wanting something different from you. Yeah, that, I think that's what it was. That's what it was. Mm. I had to figure out what I wanted, which is a big reason why I literally went to tropical Mexico <laughs> to yell at trees in the sky and breathe in air and talk to my mom, figure out, what, what am I? What am I, mom? What am I, mom? What do I do, mom? To figure it out. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, it took my life to figure out that being nice to everyone expecting it to be treated the same way and not thinking yourself was a mistake. Yeah! I think everyone in Alias had that moment. I think, I think so. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Um, I sincerely believe that, you know, because... The cookies are my life. The cookies are my life, chat. Um, and the people who don't see that, those are the people that I'm pleasing, right? So, 
Like, I'm already, yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> yeah, the people who see my efforts, those, those are the people. Those are, those are the people. Um, so it's not, it's not cool when I, when I get too sad about things, because you guys don't deserve that. <laughs> you guys don't deserve that. You guys deserve only nice things. Only nice things, chat. Only nice things. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah! I wasn't gonna continue to try to work myself into the ground, so I'm like, I needed I needed cookies who understand that. Sometimes I will take a break. And sometimes you know, things happen. Things happen. Mm. Oh, uh, it was cute because Umber, Umber was really worried about my work-life balance, too. She's like, I think we worry about you a lot. Like, all of us at Faith worry about you, like, a lot. Um, so, listen, I don't want to work so hard that I become everybody's problem, so it is, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, yeah, mm. thank you. Just keep being yourself, Mima. Thank you. Um, I'm working on my stream stamina right now because I don't know what happened, but I became such an energetic person lately for short bursts of time. I have such a good time on the stream, but then right after stream, I crash, and then the next day, I'm like, damn, I really used so much energy. I wasn't even forcing it, but dang, now I'm tired. And I do it again. And then I'm like, I don't know where this energy is coming from, but I feel tired. <laughs> it's like, it's been, it's been a little difficult. So when I posted today, I was like, oh, well, I'm feeling a little drained. I'm just like, damn. Why am I feel so drained? I don't know why I'm so high energy. I can't modulate it lately. Mm. Yeah. Um. You got a little worried during the TV drawing line days and so it's after you said you try to ease up on projects. Uh, it's hard for me to say no when it's an opportunity to help the company as a whole, if that makes sense. Like, my management was trying to come up with something to have an event for Christmas, and everyone was really busy. The manag managers were, like, not sleeping. Our managers were not sleeping, and they had the opportunity. Um, I had the opportunity to help out, so I helped out. I, helped. I think it was nicer to stay busy for me during that time, though. Because, yeah. Mm. It was nicer for me to stay busy. It's not good when I'm not busy and I start overthinking stuff, so... Um, I think it was what I needed at the time. Um, yeah, it was what I needed at the time. So, was it hard? Yes. Did I kind of sink into depression uh, like a week in? Yes. But do I regret doing it? No, I don't regret doing it. Uh, will, will I do it again? No. <laughs> Will I will I do it again? No, absolutely not. But um, yeah, it it was a thing. <clears throat> oh, you could I could not celebrate the holidays. I was it was really it was it was tough. It was tough too because, um, in all honesty, when when there's a new debut, because the Gen Gen three debut during that time. Um, you want to actually stay a little bit more active because whenever there's a new debut, there's like a new set of eyes on the company as a whole. And a part of me was worried that I would get left behind. <laughs> right. But I had to tell myself really hard, like, I trust the cookies. I trust they won't abandon me just because I have something to do for two weeks. I couldn't spend the holidays with them. 
um, I, I, I trust them. I trust them. So that's how I got through that time chat. Um, but yeah, but it was, it was, yeah, uh, it was, it was tough. It was tough. It was definitely tough. I felt so much FOMO. It was, it was so, it was, it was really tough. Um, but yeah, it was an experience for sure. I don't regret doing it though. <laughs> yeah. Um, luckily, luckily, um, it gave me a lot of time to think about because when I'm drawing, it's like meditative. It gave me a lot of time to think about like content I wanted to do. So when I came back, there was like, I feel like the content has been really good lately because I had a lot of time to think about it. So it, it was, it was kind of a good thing overall. <laughs> So, so is the 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 ski trip. It was a nice like mental refresh, and I got to think about what I wanted to do going forward too. Any break is a good time to think about your content, make it higher quality. So it's not all a loss. It's sad because we miss each other. Obviously, um, I don't want to spend too long away from you, but uh, it's it's good sometimes. Because sometimes things get stale and you need a reset. So there's positive ways to look at it, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, there's more new hand pen stuff you want to try. Right now, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like running out of hand cam content that I wanted to do. Like, um, and presentation wise, I feel like, I'm always going to have more presentation topics. Uh, it's just, I'm, how do you say this? I'm getting more fast at making presentations and I, I don't want to think about it as much. Because I remember when I first do, started doing presentations, they were more scripted um, than they are now. So like before, with starting with McDonald's, that one was heavily scripted to the point where I was writing my jokes in and it took like a week, a week of scripting. Um, I can't do fish tank. I can't do fish tank because that's too much reflective surfaces. I just can't. Do, it's not. It's impossible. Um, and it's really expensive and it's a big commitment. So, no, I will not be doing the fish tank one. Um, yeah. The, the fast, the, the McDonald's one and the next three were really heavily scripted. McDonald's, all my jokes were scripted in. They were all thought of beforehand written down and then worked into the format. Uh, but now, like, the, like going from that to the water bottle stream, the water bottle stream, I did my research. Like I took Cornell notes, bullet points, like the night before. And then. The morning of, <laughs> that's when I put together that PowerPoint and everything else was at just off the wall. I didn't have jokes scripted. It was just me wilding out there with the water bottle one. So we've come quite a long way uh, in terms of presentations. Uh, so yeah, yeah. The crab one was scripted too. It was very scripted. But we're getting less scripted. <laughs> I think I think I'm trusting myself a little bit more. So they're a little bit more easier to do. So I, I think we can do them with a little more frequency than I did before. So Papa John dumpster diving and you shooing him away was a great <laughs> Yeah, that was that was planned. So that's the thing, right? Like pre planning your streams can give some great moments, some great bits. Uh but if you're too scripted, it also feels awkward. So like it depends on the topic. Like, I think the water bottle one was a good one to just go in, you know, without very much um, scripting. But some of them will need a little bit more scripting than others. It depends on the topic, I guess. Yeah, but they are, they are getting easier to do uh, in general. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, still, it's still more prep than my normal streams. That I gotta say, way more prep. Um, it takes at least like I have to do research and I have to put together a PowerPoint, which is more prep than I think a lot of streams. Um, but I've always been pretty good at prepping stuff, so I think it's like a 
it's not it's not it's not a con it's just time consuming you know there, there's strengths that come from scripting and then there's cons that come from scripting so as there's like pros to winging things and there's cons to winging things sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh yeah it's not it's not a good or bad thing you know mm. you like the one you're about <laughs> yeah, 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 um, uh, I want to upload stream, a shoe stream, you guys want a shoe stream, like a shoe stream, um, let's see, mm. let's see, a shoe stream, that's gonna be, like, like, the lifestyle associated with a shoe, oh, that actually be kind of a good idea. Like going through shoe obsessions through the '90s and 2000s, 2010s, that'd be pretty funny. That'd be pretty funny, actually. Like Birkenstocks and Crocs and Yeezys. Um, girl, like a hype beast, or like a hype beast. The, the timeline of hype beasts and like cringe, um, like cringe, um. How do you say it? Like, you know, uh, when when you show off like your expensive stuff, like, like those those type of videos. What is it called? Flex, cringe flexing videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cringe flexing videos. <laughs> cringe flexing videos. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can we can cover that one of these days too. Um, what else? What else? What else? I don't know. Presentation where everything is made up and points to <laughs> I'm not really good at that chat. <laughs> I'm good at derivative content. Um, the only thing I know about shoes is people obsessed with Jordans. Oh my god, MTV Crib ones. No, 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 there's like TikToks and stuff about people flexing. Yeah, flex vids, cringe flex vids. Some people know what I'm talking about. Like these like 12 year olds flexing. Yeah, this is my fake Supreme. And, and yeah, it's, it's kind of cringe. Yeah. Mm. Um. Uh. Hold on, management. Hmm. Hold on, hold on, management. I'm not in trouble. I'm not in trouble. I'm just hold on. Um sorry, sorry for going quiet. You guys are probably what happened? Uh all right. Mm. My favorite pairs of shoes, one for workout, one for formal, one for everything else. That is great. I'm a girl, so I like having shoes. I don't have a lot of shoes, but I have like two pairs of sneakers. Uh, indoor running shoes, outdoor running shoes. Formal shoes, three pairs of formal shoes, three pairs of boots. I have a lot of shoes. Like, but for a woman, that's pretty all right, I think. Props. For everything else. I don't have flip flops. Crocs just fill in all the blanks. Um <laughs> what else? Uh, uh, 
a Valentine's prep stuff. I don't even know how much I can say. How <laughs> much I can say, honestly. So let's see. Sorry, give me one second. It's clickety clackety. Hold on. Uh, more work. Last minute projects. Ooh. Ooh. No art, but oh, man. Okay. Ah, man, okay. Well, now I have to go do this real quick. Yeah, I'm going to change my schedule. Man, man, man. Life, my schedule keeps changing, chat. Yeah. Man, okay. Yeah. Um, I think, how long have we been talking?
Is it gonna tell us? Just a moment. You guys see how silent I get usually when I'm not on stream? That's how silent I am. It's just me clicky clacking away. <laughs> like, no talking for like hours and hours and hours, and they get on stream and yap, 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 yap. And I go back to pure silence. All right, mm, let's see. Just a moment. Let me see here. Oh, wrong thing. Let's see. It doesn't say anything. All right, guys. I gotta go. Mwah! Thank you so much for coming. Arigato na minna. Thank you. Uh, I have to work. <laughs> I have to work. I'll see you guys later. Mm, so that, oh, wait, was it two hours? Have we been talking for two hours? crazy. Okay, I really gotta go then. Oh, to Kani. Oh, to Nip Nop. Love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll change my schedule right now. So, um, look for the updated schedule. I'll put up a waiting room too. So, I'll see you now. Bye bye.